Uh, yes, sir. You may not have thought that airline strike was an emergency, but it's fast becoming one. It's beginning to affect my vacation plans. Well, why don't you just <laughs> go and take my airplane? No, no, Mr. President, no, I just wanted to say that I think everything's lined up. I'm going to leave a few hours earlier today than I so all right, That's all right. You, just, or so. you can just... Uh, four o'clock. Yeah, well, I well, I'll be out of here before then. I'm going to leave ahead of myself, so you get me out before you go, and you can always go there. You just go and have as good a time as a human can. I don't think you're not going now to, to some uh, desert 108 degree like you do in the wintertime to no. go ski. No, we're going out to the Cascades and the Olympics in, oh, in Oregon. Oh, and Oregon. Oh, oh, oh. I don't run into Bill Douglas out oh, there. God, no. Drink any of that water he drinks. Ruin, well, I, don't, <laughs> I may need some of You that. better get one of his pills, Bob. <laughs> Sixty-seven years old. I saw her at your, at your wedding. <laughs> uh, well, I hope you have a good time. Now, don't hurt yourself and don't... Uh, so I'll be here the whole time, Mr. President. They tell me that he said if, uh, if there's a... If we felt that it was real essential that you talk to him to stand for a few months anyway. Yeah, that's right. that's right. Well, uh, I don't believe we can do any better than that. I think you better figure out who you want, whether you want Harold or who you want. Yeah. And, uh, we, I'll talk to Rusk about it. He's coming in at one today. And, uh, well, we'll limp through. I, I think that, uh, uh, maybe you can do some of the things you ought to be doing over there through SI by ideas and uh, and uh, reorganizing that department. There are about three things I would like to do. I would like to have uh, uh, thinkers and brain people constantly searching for plausible, plausible logical uh, uh, presentations that uh, uh, would be appealing to the... Uh, the enemies of our system in the world that would attract them. Now, I don't care. It might be a nuclear test ban. Uh, last night I had a long memo on agriculture. And uh, uh, the scientists over there are just begging that we work out an arrangement uh, with China to get uh, certain types of germs that uh, uh, go with their rice production and with their other types of production, soybeans. That's where we really got our soybeans from. Did you know that? I knew they came from... Uh, well, yeah. well they, they, all this stuff, and they say, now we've got root rot, and we don't know how to handle it. If we could just have some exchanges in this field. So I want to get a group of, uh, of RAND type folks uh, working on that all the time. I want the man to try to look at, uh, we'll just say you or Cy Vance or, uh, or uh, uh, Harold uh, uh, Brown or uh, uh, some of the folks you have over there. And we ought to just try to find two or three hundred of them to bring in. Every day I feel five, four, five ambassadors. And Bob, they're the biggest bunch of cults I've ever seen. And I, 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 I sit around these congressmen senators a lot, so I'm not the, I'm not the highest, don't have the highest <laughs> standards. But when they come in, and I, I just haven't found many inspiring people that. So we could, we ought to do what Mr. Reverend said Tommy Corcoran did one time in the Holding Company Act. Said he brought in a bunch of these Frankfurters from up at Harvard. Said he's buried them so damn deep around here. So we're going to have liberal legislation at least for two decades. And now we'd like to, I'd like to bury them over there during our stay. I'm doing it with the Negroes. I'm doing it with the Thurgood Marshals and the Andy Bremers and I'm, I'm, I'm circuit courts and everything. But I need somebody that can serve them up to me. I don't have any trouble of proving what you send me over here, but I can't go out and find them. And I think it's I could could really do that. So there are two things. The third thing, if he just administers that department, just gets the answers back and forth. And he could do that pretty well, where in a year he ought to have some folks coming on. Yeah. He ought to find out who's good out in these uh, out in these countries, the chief submissions. And he ought to move them up some of these places, you see. We just got a same bunch of old folks that really came along with Lovett and Bruce and Harriman and that crowd, and that's not fit for the 20th century. Well, so maybe you can uh, work with there, him. I'll do everything I can to help. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, here? Yeah, who's going to? Uh, well, it ought to be uh, Brown or Nitsen of the two. I'm inclined to think Brown. I want your counsel, but that would be uh -huh. my guess. 
and then and then if we do that, Nitsa may resign, and, and then we, you know, it's sort of a nasty little thing. I'll have to face that issue. What have you uh, got on uh, uh, this CBS broadcast today? We're just murdering your Pentagon on the uh, bombing uh, uh, Cambodia. And said first that you said you didn't have any planes there and you didn't do any bombing. And this uh, Bill uh, uh, Shorter or something from out in Saigon. is the meanest broadcast I believe I've heard. said you didn't have any planes there. Then uh, a few days later you come along and say, well, we did have planes. They were our planes. They did bomb, but they didn't bomb in Cambodia. They bombed in South Vietnam. Then he winds up with a very sarcastic thing. Now, I guess we did deny we had any planes. Did we do that to begin with? I don't believe we said that, Mr. President. I think we may have said from here, at least, that we didn't, didn't bomb have, Cambodia. didn't have the information, and then we got... I think the first response made publicly was a very careful one, because we didn't have full information. We know how controversial these things are. And then after that, I think we said we didn't bomb Cambodia. I don't think we ever said we didn't have any planes there. Would you ask, uh, would you ask your public information man to get a transcript for 8 o'clock radio news from CBS this morning, look at it, have it analyzed by somebody out there? Yes, that's right. I'll get it down to the ranch. Thank you.